Everyone tells us that AI is smarter than humans. What if I told you that a group of researchers at Apple just proved the opposite? Not only are large language models not smarter than humans, they might actually not be capable of reasoning at all. This study could have devastating effects on the further development of AI, but keep on watching to find out just how one sentence caused LLMs to drop their reasoning power by 65%. Apple recently released a new research paper titled GSM Symbolic, Understanding the Limitation of Mathematical Reasoning in Large Language Models. Now, this was a pretty big paper, but in a nutshell, Apple simply challenged all large language models together. In their paper's abstract, they wrote, we hypothesize that this decline is due to the fact that current LLMs are not capable of genuine logical reasoning. Instead, they attempt to replicate the reasoning steps observed in their training data. When we add a single clause that appears relevant to the question, we observe significant performance drops up to 65% across all state-of-the-art models, even though the added clause does not contribute to the reasoning chain needed to reach the final answer. What Apple basically did with this paper is they said, LLMs aren't capable of reasoning. They're only capable of copying steps they've already witnessed. And this is pretty revolutionary. Why? Because most people today think that AI is beginning to be more capable and more intelligent than humans. And while the first part of that might be true, AI is not more intelligent than human beings. Apple just challenged this belief in their paper. We only think this is the case because we keep seeing a lot of cool AI software, chatbots, and actual robots who are doing cool stuff all around us nowadays. Apple said that the quote unquote intelligence in large language models doesn't come from their abilities, but from their advanced pattern matching. It's not real reasoning. How did they challenge this widespread belief? The first thing Apple did is they smashed that like button, just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, the first thing they did was introduce a new benchmark. Over the years, how scientists measured artificial intelligence was by introducing different benchmarks. One of them is called the GSM 8K benchmark, which stands for Grade School Mathematics 8000. Now, when GPT-3 was introduced about three years ago, its model with 175 billion scored only 35% on the GSM 8K test but today's models are much more powerful. The new models with just 3B parameters have achieved more than 85% on the GSM 8K, while the larger models scored over 95%. Today's smaller models are achieving better scores than the largest models from three years ago. From this, it's easy to conclude that AI's reasoning capabilities have improved drastically over the past three years. But is that really the case? Some scientists began thinking that these high scores were simple pattern recognition instead of logical, symbolic thinking. And there's one major thing that could be plaguing the system here. The first one is inadvertent data contamination, which means while training the large language model, some of the problems from the GSM 8K test or a version of them made its way into the training. So when the new LLMs came across them, they simply recognized them and solved them faster. And if we look at graphs from the GPT-3 models from 2021, we will see that the biggest models couldn't surpass 35% on the GSM 8K. The state of the art models in 2024, on the other hand, have all scored above that with GPT-40 scoring 95.2%. There's a clear upward trajectory here, but Apple's researchers disagreed. They got to thinking and realized that they needed a different test to see if the new large language models were better at reasoning. This is how GSM Symbolic was born. Meridad Faraj Tabar, one of the researchers at Apple, said that GSM Symbolic is our new tool to test the limits of LLMs in mathematical reasoning. We create templates from the GSM 8K test set, enabling the generation of numerous instances and the design of controllable experiments. We generate 50 unique GSM symbolic sets, essentially like the GSM 8K, but with different values and names. 
What they basically did is they took the same test sets from the GSM 8K and they changed some of the information inside them so the LLMs couldn't recognize them easily. So if the problem included something like Sarah has four candy bars, they would change it to something like Jake has 12 apples. Basically, they changed the names and values of the problems. Here's an example of how they adapted one GSM 8K problem for the GSM symbolic template. The highlighted values and names were the only thing they changed in these problems. Well, can you please guess how the most advanced LLMs scored on these tweak tests? What they found out in this GSM symbolic test is that when they introduced new data into the question, added irrelevant information, or maybe even made very tiny changes like altering the names or switching up details, the LLMs got confused. And yes, this does include OpenAI's O1 series. All of them showed significant drops in accuracy when the data was tweaked. For example, some LLMs scored 10% lower on the GSM symbolic than they did on the GSM 8K. Even the most advanced GPT-40 scored lower on the GSM symbolic. If Apple's study achieved anything, it was to show us that LLMs treat statements like actions. They don't actually understand their true meaning. They don't understand the meaning of the phrase. They just recognize patterns. And this is a crucial weakness in LLMs because they struggle to identify all the relevant information they need to solve the problems. As far as Tabal pointed out, LLMs are very fragile at the moment. They are very sensitive to changes in proper names. The fragility gets even worse when we're talking about changing the numbers. Do you think a child from middle school would score 10% lower on a test he's seen before and studied when you change a few of the names and numbers? Of course they wouldn't. Why would a student get a math question wrong just because Sally is now called Sammy? But LLMs do precisely this, which indicates that they could be just memorizing things and doing pattern recognition when creating the tests. To make matters worse, if you look at these charts, you can see that LLMs get one score when you grade them on the GSM 8K. They get a slightly lower score when you change the names. That score drops even further when you change the numbers. But when you change both, you guessed it, the score goes even further down. Now, you might be thinking, well, that's not a big drop. 10% isn't that bad. I'm glad you said that. The craziest drops were experienced when the researchers tested the LLMS on the GSMNOOP. For this, the researchers took the original GSM 8K question and they added some sentences that were relevant to the question but didn't change the reasoning at all. And when they added these types of phrases, all hell broke loose. Just adding one sentence like this caused the LLMs to drop their scores by up to 65%. This led the researchers to conclude that LLMs don't really understand GSM 8K problems. They're just really good at recognizing patterns. So what does this mean for the future of AI development? When we're talking about AI, many people like to say that we're on the brink of creating AI systems that are capable of thinking and reasoning exactly like humans. Apple just revealed that this couldn't be farther from the truth. In reality, the critical flaw in large language models is their inability to identify the relevant information. The researchers therefore said that scaling the data, the models, or increasing the computing power will not actually fix this. It will only make it worse. Basically, people who don't understand the technology are tricked by the giant companies that AI is close to replacing humans in everyday activities. The companies who make these hyped up statements and rely on fear mongering as a marketing tactic to turn AI into the new buzzword know just how false that statement really is. The researchers said this study shows us just how important transparency is in the field of AI. Developers need to highlight the gap between human thinking and the current state of technology before they begin telling everyone that AI is dangerous, super advanced, and scary. And only by truly informing people will they be able to better understand the strengths and weaknesses of AI, adopt it, and hopefully make it better in the future. Here's another video AI enthusiasts loved watching. 
This is AI Exposed, demystifying the world of artificial intelligence, one video at a time.